nebuno. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Raluca. Today I'm kind of in a different setup because we're in vacation at the moment. I'm in my boyfriend's backyard. I'm filming here in natural light. I haven't got my ring light with me so this is what we're working with at this moment. And this doggy that is actually trying to lick my face. Why do you want to lick my face? Why? This video is going to be the first uh, fall makeup tutorial that I do this year. It's still warm here, but I'm excited for the fall colors, so I'm going to do that. So yeah, let's get started. I'm first going to do my brows. I'm first going to brush them up. To fill in my brows, I'm going to use the Brow Powder Duo by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to apply it with the Makeup Addiction Small Angle Brush. This is my favorite brow brush. And I'm just mixing both of the shades and I'm starting at the base of the brow and just filling in my sparse areas. I'm uh, concentrating the product on the outer half of my brow, so the tail mostly. I'm not adding any product in the front, I'm going to use my brows in the front of the brow. To fill in the front of the brow, I'm going to use my brows again by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, this one is in the shade medium brown. And I'm just going to draw some hair strokes. Now I can set it in place using a clear brow gel and I'm using the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Just brushing the hairs up. Now I'm just priming my eyelid using a little bit of concealer and I'm blending it using my damp sponge. I'm going to start with my eyes because I'm going to use the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and if you've used Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows before you might know that they're a little bit dusty so they have a little bit of fallout. I really want to use this shade right here because I feel like it's very suitable for fall but at the same time I don't want to do a very dark look. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to start with the shade Burnt Orange to go in my crease as a transition. I'm going to take my Juvia's Place 007 blending brush, it looks something like this. And I'm going to pick the shade Burnt Orange in the palette, dusting off the excess. And then placing this shade in my outer corner and whatever is left on my brush I'm going to blend in my crease. You know what? I'm going to apply this shade all over the eyelid as well. I'm going to do kind of a soft smoky, I think. I'm going to use a Makeup Addiction Precision Shader Brush and I'm going to take the shade Sienna, which is a warm brown. And this is going to go near my lash line. Kind of in a wing liner shape. And I'm using the previous brush to blend this. And now I'm going to take the shade Mulberry on an angled brush. This is, I think it's an eyeliner brush from Essence. And this is going to go even closer to my lash line. And again I'm doing a wing liner shape. I think the top part is okay like this. I'm going to add probably a gold uh, pop on the lower lash line. But for now I'm going to move on to the face. I'm already wearing moisturizer and I applied some SPF before. So I think I'm going to go straight into foundation. And today I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I love this one, it looks so natural on the skin and it's very liquidy and lightweight. So I'm going to apply about two palms. By the way, I'm in the shade 130 through beige. So I'm going to take my sponge and bounce it on my face. And with whatever is left on the sponge, I'm going to continue blending on my jawline. 
and my neck so you won't, won't be able to see a difference between my face color and my neck color but make sure to get this jawline area as well because I feel like a lot of people forget about this area for my under eyes I'm going to use my favorite the instant anti-age eraser by Maybelline and I'm first going to apply the shade brightener to cancel out the darkness on my under eyes and I'm going to blend this with my sponge and then on top of it as concealer I'm going to use the shade neutralizer And again I'm using my sponge to blend it. I love the coverage, I love the wear time, this concealer is amazing. Next I'm going to powder and I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder. I'm going to set my under eyes using a fluffy blending brush like this. This is a Makeup Addiction Dual Fiber Blender. First I'm going to make sure there are no creases. So I'm going to blend a little bit once again. And then immediately set this with some powder. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to use a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to apply a very light coat of powder all over my face. My skin is pretty dry, so I don't really need that much. Just so I can set the foundation in place. Before finishing the face, I'm going to go back to my eyes. And where's my palette? Okay, here's my palette. <laughs> I'm going to take the shade Sienna on a little blending brush dusting off the excess and applying this mainly in the outer corner but bringing it towards the inner corner as well and then with the eyeliner brush that i used on top i'm going to take the shade mulberry again to go just in my outer corner and kind of connecting it to the liner from the top And then by putting less pressure on the brush, I'm going to fade it. Now I'm going to pick up a small detail brush like this to apply the shade bronze in my inner portion of the lower lash line. This is such a beautiful golden shade. And so this is going to go here in my inner portion. And again, by applying less pressure on the brush, I'm going to fade it towards the outer corner. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a little bit of mascara and false lashes I believe, although I'm not sure. I'm going to apply the Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara. I can't get over how this packaging looks so similar to the Fenty mascara. I'm not sure if I like this though. I used it about two or three times I believe. Um, Sometimes I like it, sometimes it gets a little bit too clumpy. Like it kind of makes my lashes stick together. I'm applying it on the lower lashes as well. It's giving me volume and stuff, but it kind of sticks my lashes together. Uh, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about it. I'm going to quickly apply some lashes that I got from Wish. Uh, I used this pair right here because it's as you can see it's cut a little bit smaller than the other ones i'm applying some of my dual lash glue on the lash band i'm going to let this dry for about 50 60 seconds i'm going to come in from the top secure the middle and then the sides now I'm switching back to my face and I'm going to apply some contour. This is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I'm mixing these two shades in the middle. And then contouring my cheekbones. My jawline. My forehead. And I like connecting the eyeshadow to the contour here above my temple let's say I'm going to do a little bit of nose contouring as well and I'm using a two-faced contour brush and I'm taking 
the contour powder again and shading under my nose to lift it up a little bit and then with whatever is left on the brush I'm going to draw two lines but keeping them really close to each other and then a line that's parallel to the first one that we did then some lip contouring as well by shading underneath and above my mouth just in the center next I'm going to apply some blush and I'm taking my Sigma blush cheek palette and I'm going to take this shade in the corner because it's the most natural of them all it's kind of a peachy skin tone shade yeah I can see myself in this mirror Okay, dusting off the excess from the brush. The brush that I'm using is a Sigma F10 brush, by the way. This is the best blush brush I've ever tried. It makes the application so much better. And I'm keeping the blush pretty far away from the center of my face. Kind of above the contour. And a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Because I can help myself. <laughs> For highlighter I'm going to use another favorite of mine which is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. This one is in the shade Molten Rose Gold. This looks so gorgeous on the skin. I'm using a Sigma F03 brush. I love this brush for highlighting. And I'm applying it on my cheekbone. I'm going to go pretty heavy with the highlighter since I feel like my face is lacking that natural glow. So I'm going to highlight my chin, my forehead, above my brows, in between my brows, right here. I'm going to highlight my cupid's bow as well. And now I'm switching with a smaller brush to highlight the tip of my nose. This makes the nose look a little bit smaller. So it's better to use a small detail brush like this than to use a large highlighter brush. I'm highlighting my brow bone as well. And my inner corner. Set my face in place and again to bring back that healthy skin like glow I'm going to use the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. I'm going to get my hair out of the way. <laughs> And then spray my face. Mmm, this smells amazing. I have yet to decide on what lipstick I want to apply. I'm not sure if my heart allows me to apply a darker lipstick. <laughs> Although that would be very fall-like. But, but I love light colors. Okay, you win. I'm going to apply the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade 708. This is like a dark reddish brown. I overlined a little bit, especially in the center of my mouth. I mean, this is not bad, but I, I don't know. I prefer light nudes so much more. I think in the center of my mouth, I'm just going to go with this lip balm by Givenchy. This is La Rose Perfecto Lip Balm in the shade 03. It's just like a pink shimmery color. It's not that pink on the lips, it just gives that beautiful flush of color. I don't know, lately I've been enjoying this kind of a juicy, shiny lip rather than a matte lip. I feel like it looks so much healthier. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I hope you like this fall inspired look. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye!